Welcome back to Morning Joe. Uh, obviously, it's been a really tough m morning with a lot of really, really bad emotional news that we've been covering over the past few weeks and the latest, of course, last night out of Maine. We're not going to miss a beat. If there's anything new that develops, we will bring it to you. We're also going to take a brief emotional break from it all because Broadway stars, they got to work late and they got up early for us. And this is a really special group. The Stephen Sondheim musical, Merrily We Roll Along, is having its first Broadway revival since the original production infam infamously closed after just 16 performances back in 1981. It's now playing at the Hudson Theater in New York City and it's getting rave reviews. Here's a short clip from the show. Opening doors, singing, look who's here, beginning to sail on a dime. Back far the shores, getting very near, we have enough thing to fear, we haven't got time. That's good. And they're singing right along <laughs> in studio with us. <laughs> I know. Can't help yourself, John. <laughs> yeah. Join us warming it up for the exercise. evening. It is. Yeah. Join us now, yeah. left to right around the horn here, the musical director, Maria Friedman, and the show's three stars, Jonathan Groff, Daniel Radcliffe, and Lindsay Mendez. Good morning to you all. Thanks so much for being here. Good Thank you so much for having us. So, Good Maria, let me start with you. Mika pointed out the history of <laughs> the, the show in 1981 that almost forced Stephen Sondheim to retire. He said, I'm done. What about this wonderful show that you have put together, spoke to you and said, I think it's time to bring it back. Let's try again. Well, I was lucky enough that I did the show with Stephen Sondheim and George Firth way back when I was a young person, kind of but even younger than you but guys. Were you that lucky? You really? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I was because I know. they rewrote it around us. Mm. And then I knew that this was this beautiful little yeah. show. And then you give it to people like this mm -hmm. and it sings. It's a perfect show. People are, people are really putting it right up in the canon now, which is why I wanted to do it. That it was always the lost one. And now people are putting this right at the top along, you know, they, they, they think along with Sunday in the Park with George, they're putting this along with that. It's like the number one for people now. You spoke it's with perfect. Stephen Sondheim before he died about this revival, am I correct? I did, yeah. The, the reason we're doing it is because he asked us to do this wow. show. Wow. Um, and I was working with him um, on it. Um, he knew that Dan was going to be playing uh, oh. Charlie and was beside himself about it. Mm -hmm. And he knew wow. of the possibility, but I don't think you'd all accept it by that stage. So he knew who was coming to play it. Um, uh, and he wrote in the New York Times 10 days before he died to ensure the production mm -hmm. came over saying, um, Maria Friedman's production of Merrily is coming to Broadway. And that was that. We were coming. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that was that. Wow. Speaking of the New York Times, Jonathan, I was reading through this morning the review. Usually the Times will find some qualifier or something they didn't. It's just start to finish pretty much a rave. You're breaking box office records at the Hudson Theater. It's doing incredibly well. For people who don't know the story, can you give a little synopsis of what they're going to see when they walk into the theater? Totally. I don't want to spoil too much because there's Fair. a lot of surprises. Amazing score, uh, music and lyrics by Stephen Sondheim. And it's basically the story of a friendship. Uh, the three of us play Dear Friends. It takes, the place, uh, takes place over the course of 20 years. And it starts at the end of the friendship and goes backwards in time to the beginning. And Maria, when she was pitching us all the show, said, you know, this this is more than just a musical. This is an opportunity for people to come into the theater, to laugh, to have a, an amazing experience watching a great show. But there's also something, I would say, even spiritual about the experience of seeing it. We repeat the lyrics over and over again, how did you get to be here? And we've had many audience members come and say they've reflected on their actual lives coming to see the show. So it's it's a very unique theatrical experience. Wow, okay, and so the, all of you have such amazing backgrounds. Okay, help me, get me right, Wicked. Right? Wicked. Yeah, that was what one of them. Let's hear it. Yeah. Yeah. By gravity. <laughs> Daniel was in a movie. I he forgot was. the name. Daniel was in this. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, yeah, I gotta yeah, ask yeah, someone. Yeah. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention the name of any film. Oh, you're right. right. And then right. Uh, yeah. Hamilton, yeah. Glee, and Spring Awakening. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not so for Tony. I mean, yeah. the talent at this table is amazing. I don't know how you. I guess first of all, tell us what it feels like to be back on stage. You're kind of a veteran of the stage now. And what about the way this revival was being put together that you knew it would be a smashing success? Well, I, it's funny because everyone talks about the the show as having this history of troubled uh, original production or whatever. But the only version I'd ever seen of this show was this production by Maria in London in 2013. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was fantastic. So, like, I was just like, this is an amazing show. And I saw the, the actor. So it's Maria. I mean, uh, Maria yeah, is right. a huge part yeah. of this. Yeah, yes. 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 I have to say that. <laughs> I mean, you're here, but it's also true. It kind um, of makes and sense. It's, it, yeah, I mean, I, I was so excited when we first talked about it, the yeah. idea of getting to do this show. And then when these guys came on, it was just, you know, I'm, I'm so excited to be back, like, on Broadway doing stage again. It really feels like... I don't know. It just it keeps you honest on stage. Like mm-hmm. if you can do it on stage, it gives you confidence that like, oh yeah, I can do this on a film. If you're doing it on stage, you you're really it feels like you're really doing it. So wow. Lindsay, you've won a Tony Award, as Mika said. You're wicked. You've really reached the highest heights of Broadway. <laughs> so tell us about this show. What drew you in? I assume it has a oh, lot yeah. to do with the people sitting at this yeah, table right now. Yeah, it was rough right to say yes with these two <laughs> involved, but uh, you know, I took a hit and here I am. Um, <laughs> took one for the team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I hadn't. I hadn't been on stage in uh, a few years. I was living in Los Angeles and doing a series there. And um, when I when I spoke to Maria and um, you know, she kind of pulled apart this this role, which is you know, kind of a, a challenging woman to play. Um, I just knew I had to be part of it. And I was, I, I've had the best time ever. Broadway is, there's nothing like it. And um, it just, it, to, to be received the way we're being received and hear the audience is just gasp and be with us in every moment mm-hmm. is just it's an actor's yeah. dream it really is to, to be doing the show i'd also like to say just because we have a tendency to talk about the shows and it is reflective and it is there's like pathos and it's very moving it's also really funny it's really i fun. feel like we keep forgetting to say this it's <laughs> it's really the idea this, this is yes. a very sad show it is no, a comedy it's, it's a well. comedy yeah. Yeah. a lot of joy we need we need yes. some joy My actually uh, in so many ways it's some, full of joy yeah. it is yeah. yes yeah. 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 in the hands of these people i mean just look at them well, i mean I that's who you're and, with. And you're with them, like, and the, the whole, whole cast. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone is just full up with this kind of sounds really sentimental, but it's full of love, this show. Yeah. And 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 each one of them are relating with each other. I mean I look at I look at them, it's it's genuine. When you walk into that theatre as an audience member, you are gonna be taken on the most wonderful journey. And you won't forget it. And, and I was doing a broadcast uh, the other day and the um, person interviewing me said that she had grown up with this friend who they'd fallen out. They'd fallen out and they used to put the old tape of Merrily in their car. Mm. This is years ago. Anyway, cut a long story short, after the interview, she found that tape and she got a little te- bit of it and sent it to her friend Aww. And because they'd been estranged and they'd become friends. And this is happening a lot. People are picking up the phone to people, mm. just reminding each other about how much we all matter to each other. Mm. We need mm. that. We need yeah. that, right? Mm. Yeah. You can see the strictly limited engagement. Merrily we roll along at the Hudson Theatre now until March of next year. Maria Friedman, Jonathan Groff, Daniel Radcliffe, and Lindsay Mendez. Thank you all very much. Thanks, for guys. A lot of fun. I want you to voice Thanks for having us. With you. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs>